Hey, what's going on, dividend investors? Are you broke? Are you tired of being broke and you're wondering why you're always broke? Because you don't know how to set a budget and you don't know how to stick to it and that's all your fault. Guys, go ahead and give me a thumbs up for this video. I got some amazing stuff for you today. We're just going to talk about setting a budget, why you're broke, and how to get out of being broke. All right. A couple things real quick. We're gonna first we're gonna do is look at your income. So if you're making, let's say you bring home three thousand dollars a month, right? But you're spending four thousand dollars a month. You're in a deficit of a thousand dollars a month. How? Why are you doing that? So you go to work for eight hours a day, right? So you're gone from your house by nine hours a day. Then you come home and you sit over there on the couch and you complain about being broke. Then on the weekends, you go out and you put nonsense, playful things on your credit card. And then you're broke because you got to pay your credit card bill. And then you get a collection letter in the mail because you don't pay your credit card bill. Well, your income, you have to up your income. In the evenings, you get off work, right? If you you go drive an Uber for two or three hours, make a hundred bucks, that's $500 right there in one week, just for a few hours of evening. On Saturday, instead of going to the bar, what do you do? You go drive your little Uber. Go deliver for DoorDash. Make a few hundred bucks, right? So that's that's just a simple income. If you, like if you can't if you can't get promoted at your job, you're gonna have to do something else in the evening to bring your money up. That's real simple, right? If you're not gonna get promoted, if you're not gonna get the hours at work, the extra overtime hours, that's just what it is. You're gonna have to pick your money up some way or another. Get a second job in order to meet that uh, deficit that you're looking at. Number two, your expenses. So we talked about income, and now we're gonna talk about your expenses. What are you buying? If you're a single man or lady and you don't got any kids, why are you blowing your money on junk? What do you have? Do you have one of those big goofy lifted trucks, right, with the 38 inch tires, 24 inch rims? Diesel just blowing out the exhaust, going everywhere, spending money. Why are you doing that? And then complaining about being broke. That's your fault. You need to set a budget. Stick to your budget. Set it. Stick to it. Stop overpaying for nonsense. So, like I said, we're going to have to get some side hustles. Number three, side hustles. We're going to do some Ubering. We're going to do some door dashing. Deliver for Domino's. I don't have to do that. I'm not speaking for me because I work 12-hour days. I'm speaking for you that can't figure out your own budget. So write it down. How much is your mortgage? How much is your car? How much you spend on gas? How much you got in credit card bills? Electricity. What are you spending your money on that you don't need? Are you paying for all seven streaming channels? You're streaming seven different HBO, Cinemax, Showtime, YouTube, Netflix, all the streaming channels, you're just paying for them. Why? Get up off your couch, go do something, right? If you want to get from bringing in three or four thousand a month to five or six thousand a month, you have to cancel all that nonsense, set your budget, figure out how many extra hours per evening you can work to go do those things, right? Go cut somebody's grass if you have to. It is what it is. You have to you have to pick it up. So once you get that, once you figure out your budget, and once you start bringing extra money, don't go blowing it on junk. Set your budget. Invest in quality stocks. If you don't know what a quality stock is, just invest in BOO. S&P 500, right there, BOO. Simple. Invest in Ford, Microsoft. Those are just simple things to invest in. Look it up on a computer for yourself. Find out some just some basic, simple things. Uh, to invest in for your life, right? You want to build wealth, you want to level up, want to create something positive for yourself. Stop hanging out with those losers that are bringing you down, right? If three of your friends are losers, guess what? You're probably the fourth loser in your circle of losers. So that's what it is. Stop trying to keep up with everybody else. I was trying to tell somebody a couple months ago about stop putting money on credit cards and, uh, Let's talk about my necklace. I was like, I paid cash for this. this is solid gold. I paid cash. I didn't put it on credit card. I didn't finance it. I paid cash. I paid cash for this on my wrist. Not a credit card. I worked 12 hour days. I worked a hundred days last year of overtime on 12 hour shifts. So I put a thousand, a little over a thousand hours of overtime 
that I put in at the place I work in order to afford stuff like this. Can you afford stuff like this? If you maybe, but probably not. Don't put it on a credit card. That's dumb. Don't do zero percent financing. Thinking you're gonna pay it off in twelve months because you know you're not. Then what they're gonna do is take that financing and backdate it for twelve months at twenty five percent interest, and then you're gonna have to pay all that back. So don't do stupid stuff. Don't do that zero percent financing if you know you can't pay it off. So what we're talking about? Set your budget. Right, go out there on the streets, sell a product, drive for Uber, right, do DoorDash, whatever you have to do, write your budget down. What am I spending money on? Do I need these ribeyes? No, you don't need the ribeye. Do you need to go out to eat? No, why are you going out to eat? We can cook your five dollars to cook at your house for one meal. How much does it cost at a restaurant? Minimum 15 bucks, minimum. You get the appetizer. They want $3 for a glass of tea at a restaurant. You could drink your water out the house, but then you go there, you try to show off for your buddies, some girl that don't even like you anyways, right? You're spending this money, put it on a credit card, now you're broke. And then you complain about being broke. You say, oh, I, I can't do that, I gotta wait till payday. You wouldn't have to wait till payday if you would have set your budget a year ago, looked at the junk that you're buying, stop buying the junk, Put the money in your account, invest into something else, and then you would have the money, right? You don't need to buy every new thing. You don't need the new phone. How much is the new phone? $1,000, $1,300? Your phone works just fine. You don't need it, right? Set your budget. You want to level up. Stop spending on junk. You don't need the other nonsense. You don't need the new shoes. You don't need 20 pairs of shoes. That's for sure. You just need a pair of shoes to walk around in. Pair of shoes to look good in. That's two pair. Maybe a pair of flip flops around the house. Good lord, stop going out to the store with flip flops on. You look ridiculous, man. All right, we talked about setting your, get your income up, your expenses, side hustles, creating the budget. Most important thing. If you don't know where your money's going, pull up on your phone, look at your bank account, and look at every single line item. Why did I buy that? Why is this $3.99? What is $4.17? What is $13.27? Look at like what when did I when did I swipe my card for this? What am I doing? Why am I broke? You need to look inside yourself, set it up for yourself, and figure out what you're doing wrong. Look, if you can't afford it, if you can't afford it, don't do it. It's just what it is. You're gonna have to be poor for a year or two, figure your stuff out, level up on your own. And stop blaming everybody else. And it's not everyone else's fault. It's your fault. Get your stuff together. Stop complaining. Make the budget. Create the budget. Live by the budget. Right? And if you can, if you can get that promotion at work, go for it. Maybe two or three more dollars. Every one dollar extra at work is $2,000 a year. So if you get $2 raise, that's $4,000 more. Right? If you get a $5 raise, that's $10,000 more. Go for the go for the uh, overtime hours at work if you can, you know. Try and get the promotion. Stop always wanting to go work at a fast food joint. Do something else. I'm not telling you to go to college because I think college is a waste of money. Go get a trade. Be a welder. Be an electrician. Be a plumber. Do something else to level yourself up. All right, guys. That's all I got for now. Make sure you give me a thumbs up, guys. Share this video. All right, peace.